Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this rose gold marquee number display for her 40th birthday. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. Let's get started straight away. I've put a full product list in the description below, including where you can buy all the materials and equipment that I'm using today. I'm using a 34 inch rose gold numbers, number four and number zero, just inflating with the Qualitex hand pump. And I've got a really heavy sand weight there. I'll leave a link in the description to my tutorial on how to make heavy sand weights. But the sand weight's the wrong color for the display that I'm doing today. So I just want to tone down that red a little bit. So I've inflated an 11 inch round, cut off the neck, and then I'm stretching that over the sand weight and that's just going to disguise the red a little bit. I'm double stuffing the 11 inch rounds. Uh, I'm just double stuffing eight of these balloons. So that will be four balloons in total. And I'm doing that just for the base layer uh, of the display. I'm now inflating the double stuffed balloons to nine inches and I double stuff just to make that base layer a little more durable, a little sturdier. So just make duplets of your double stuffed balloons. So we'll end up with another set of those, cross them over and this is the double stuffed layer. Now we're inflating just single balloons, not double stuffed. Again to the same size, nine inches, so just size those size each of the balloons to nine inches. You just want the size of the balloon to touch the size of the, the sizing box. Tie together to form a duplet. Make another one, wrap them together and you've got your cluster of four. And we're just connecting those two layers together with the necks from the clusters of four, wrapping around in a figure of eight and then attaching the sand weight. And that is just going to cinch everything together if you pull the uh, 350 through the center. I'm going to show you close up how I tie these foil balloons because you have been asking me to show you more closely what I do. So I'm trying to show you what I do with my fingers and how I position my fingers because I, I do use uh, most of my fingers to tie these together so I use my little finger to hold on to things so just wrap that 260 up in the neck tie it over and then tie in a knot okay so I'm using a little finger there to hold on to things so just pull that tightly and then once you've tied one knot you can tie a second knot and that's nice and secure Pull the tails of the white 260 into the base to secure the number. And if I've inflated uh, one of these cube balloons in the normal way, just position that. And I'm using some U-glue dashes to stick the number four on top of the um, cube and also to the number zero. But I do do something slightly different with the cube later and I'll show you close up. I'm now inflating a mix of colors of five inch round balloons. I'm sizing these organically. I'm now inflating an orbs balloons and I've seen quite a few videos um, where these have been inflated incorrectly. So I'm going to show you in detail how I do these. So I'm using the hand pump filling with air and you'll see that one of the seams has just popped open there. That's perfectly normal, that's what you want. So this balloon will inflate or shouldn't be inflated to be a perfect sphere. Okay, we're not there yet. Got lots of creases in and there is another seam that will burst open to reveal more of the balloon. It's just gone there, you'll see it and you'll see that the rest of that seam peel open. So keep inflating. You'll see that we've got lots of seams left. So this, you want to inflate until all the seams have gone, until all the creases have gone. Okay, so we're almost there. 
just proceeding with a little caution and you'll see here all the creases have gone and the seams are perfectly smooth. I'm creating a, an attachment point uh, onto one of the little tabs on the side of the number four and I'm using a 160 just wrapping that around a few times and tying and that will create a really good attachment point. I'm now creating another attachment point so that I can tie the orbs onto the number zero. I'm using stretchy balloon tape to create a further attachment point on the side of the orbs. So I've cut a couple of strips and done a cross, made a cross to attach the 260. And I've made more attachment points here. I'm now adding the clusters of four balloons, the five inch rounds that I sized organically, just moving around the display and adding these wherever I see a gap and to hide the mechanics. I've made a deco mesh bow that I'm adding to the display and I'll leave a link in the description to the tutorial to make the bow. Be sure to watch this video next.